Oh man, it's a nice bass. Look at that. Get up in here. Nice early morning topwater bass on the buzz bait. Just out here covering these grass flats. And if you can see right here, this is this is the flat. So you can tell that there's not very many, you know, you can't you can't get a lot of baits through that. You know, you can come through and you can flip a jig, a Texas rig, whatever, but if you want to throw a moving bait for the most part, you're limited to top water. So that's what we're out here doing. You know, there's that always that morning window when you can come out and throw a top water around. And for me, I chose a buzz bait. You know, I paired it with I got a white this is the Tackle HD buzz bait. We're in some stained water, so I went with a gold blade. White buzz bait with a white trailer on there. I, just, I like that trailer, it just gives it, I feel like it gives that bait a little more lift with that flat body on there and gives it a little extra action too. But you know, when it comes to buzz baits, I, anything that you can just crawl real slow and it's got some squeak to it. You know, that blade's making contact with that head. And if you can hear it, there's some squeak. And whatever it is, that noise and that blade squeaking on that wire drives them nuts. But you can see here on this particular one, you can see that blade comes in contact with that head there and really makes a big racket. You can see right where that blade's hitting that head. And obviously, you know, throughout the day, you're going to have to kind of bend and tweak your wires to make it continue to hit, catching fish, getting caught on grass, whatever it might be. But I mean, it's a pretty simple setup. I prefer either a black or a white one. Went with white today and that gold blade and the stained water. And then when it comes to, you know, what I'm throwing it on, keep it pretty simple. You know, I'm going to straight braid, 40 pound braid. This happens to be suffix 832. You know, I'm fishing around a lot of grass. So that braid really helps with cutting that grass on hook sets or digging down in and just landing. And then, you know, I'm, I'm not target casting. So I, I like a little bit longer rod. This is a 7.4 medium heavy. It's a relatively stiff tip, but I need that I need that stiffer rod just around this cover. If I was, I would probably go with a little bit softer rod if I was more open water fishing around laydowns and stuff or um, around docks, whatever. But because I'm fishing around such thick grass and everything, I, I like to have that little bit extra beef to get them up and out out of that cover. When you're picking a buzz bait, the other thing to consider is wire thickness. So if you look at this one, it's a pretty thin wire, right? So what that's gonna do for you is it, it allows that blade to just move a little bit more and create more vibration. Yeah, you're gonna have to tune it a little more often because of that light wire and everything, but it's worth it because you're getting more, more vibration, better sound out of that bait. Ultimately, I think it gets you more bites, so. Having to tune it every so often isn't a bad deal where if you're using a thicker wire, yeah, you wouldn't, you know, you could probably tune it and just let her be, but you're not getting as much vibration out of that bait. And maybe sometimes you want that. For me personally, I generally prefer a thinner gauge wire in my buzz baits. Really ultimately that thinner wire is just giving it more life. It's giving it more action and there's just more movement inside of that bait, which I think is a good thing. Covering thicker grass flats can can be a challenge and yes you can go through and flip it and be real methodical on it and you will catch fish you will get bites but it's nice when you can cover water and and really burn the flat and see what's living there and so to do that i like a, i like a buzz bait or a top water of sorts a buzz bait's probably my favorite just because i can fish it fast and i can cover a lot of water doing it and i'll and i mean just in general it works they flat out catch fish, right? So, you know, you could come out here and do this with a walking bait or what have you, but in my opinion, a buzz bait's the best option, especially in this particular situation when I'm fishing a little bit of mixed cover um, with the pads and there's some there's some toolies around and uh, just being able to kind of fish multiple different kinds of cover with the same bait, not having to swap rods. You know, you can come out here too and fish a frog and obviously you're able to fish fish up in the thicker stuff even with the frog but number one it's not as fast you can't cover as much water with it and number two it's not as loud not as noisy you know I'm I'm trying to call fish in from across this flat so having this loud squeaky buzz bait that's just 
clanking with the, that lead head and making a lot of noise is really key. And making I'm able to make long casts across the whole flat and I can call fish in from, from a long ways away with it. Oh yeah. Oh, he just inhaled it. Keep him coming. <laughs> just a classic buzz bait bite. Not a giant, but oh, I just love when you hear that vacuum of just kawoosh. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's just topwater fishing is so much fun. Hey, cut it out. Relax. Got that Z Craw Jr. on there. Not a huge giant one by any means, but. Another good one on the buzz bait and you know early morning just kind of covering water and getting them to come up and eat on top. <laughs> 